you guys, I am here with a hormone lesson for you. And today we're gonna to be talking about our thyroid. This little butterfly shaped gland right here that like literally runs, I almost said ruins. Maybe it does ruin. <laughs> it runs our entire body and our entire lives kind of, okay? So a lot of this info that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys, I am just now learning for myself. So I'm not an expert by any means, but as I learn it, I want to teach it to you guys because it'll help me learn it better. So maybe it's a little bit selfish on my part. It'll help me learn it better. Um, and it'll also maybe open your eyes to some things that may be going on with you or just for your knowledge. Okay. So a lot of this information is from a podcast and blogs by Dr. Weston Childs. Okay. So if you go to um, your iTunes, your podcast app and search Weston Childs, you'll find him. He'll come right up. This um, episode was, uh, what's it called? reverse t3 treatment guide and it has so much information i just pulled a little bit to share with you so first you guys i'm going to kind of refer to my notes here every once in a while but um let's talk about our thyroid hormones okay so we have t3 and t4 okay t4 is inactive and t3 is the active form of thyroid in our body okay okay so t4 converts to t3 okay so picture t4 as a stream and there's a rock in the stream and T4 can either be converted into one of two types of T3. It can be convert, form, converted into active T3, okay, this way, or it can be converted to reverse T3, which is an inactive form of thyroid hormone. And that one's gonna go off this way. So you have your T4 here, right? And it's gonna go to T3 or reverse T3. We want it going to T3. Reverse T3 is bad. T3 is good. Reverse T3 is bad. Okay, why is reverse T3 bad? Well, maybe it's not bad, so to speak, but for weight loss and general health, it is bad. So reverse T3 acts as a protective mechanism for our body. So what it does is it actually slows, it actively slows your metabolism by blocking hormone receptors from T3 doing its job, okay? So reverse T3 is gonna slow down your metabolism. T3 is going to speed it up, okay? We don't want our T4 going into T3. Okay, so how much is gonna to go to T3 and how much is gonna to go to T4, I mean, reverse T3, actually it can be genetic, but it also can do with environmental factors that you can control. And we're gonna talk about more about that in just a minute. So how do you know if you have reverse T3? Well, first of all, I'm gonna talk about how to calculate that in just a minute, but blood work will tell you exactly if you have too high of reverse T3. Um, but some symptoms of reverse T3, slow metabolism, um, constant weight gain without changing your habits, okay? Just slow and steady, or maybe even fast and steady weight gain without changing habits. Really, really crushing fatigue. You're just so, so exhausted and something, an everyday activity just wipes you out. Um, chronic pain, depression, anxiety, bipolar, just a lot of these mental issues can have to do with your thyroid in reverse T3, okay? Um, another one is if you are taking a thyroid supplement, yet your T3 levels and your blood work is still low, which is exactly the case with me, then it could be that your reverse T3 is too high. Okay, what can cause, what are these things that can cause too much of this T4 being converted into reverse T3 instead of the T3 that we want? Very low calorie dieting. So if anyone's done the HCG diet or dieted on less than a thousand calories, studies have shown that it actually only takes 21 days of those very, very low calorie diets or lowish calorie diets and tons of cardio. That kind of equals out the same kind of thing to really affect your thyroid hormones. Extreme lifestyle, yo-yo dieting, chronic illness, chronic inflammation is another one. So if you have chronic inflammation, here are a few causes of chronic inflammation. Uh, any autoimmune disease, leptin resistance or insulin resistance, as well as any unaddressed food sensitivities. A lot of those can cause a lot of inflammation in our bodies. And when we have a lot of inflammation, it's really hard for our thyroid to function properly with that T4 to T3 conversion process. Another culprit could be gut issues. Any kind of gut issue, um, SIBO, IBS, any sort of in issue down there could um, also affect your thyroid. As well as just general emotional and lifestyle stress that is so, so hard to get rid of and it affects all of us, but that can definitely play a role as well. Uh, one more thing would be medication. So antidepressants, anti-anxiety, 
beta blockers, blood pressure medications, a lot of those have been shown to interfere with thyroid health as well. Now, I'm not saying go off your medication. I'm just making you aware that if you're on those kind of medications, this could be an issue that you wanna look into. Okay, but the best way to tell from your blood work is you get your, you get a full plan of blood work, make sure your doctor tests reverse T3, and what you actually do is you divide your free T3 by reverse T3. So you'll have two numbers. It might be like a three, like a reverse T3, or a T3, free T3 might be like, you know, 3.1 or something. Um, mine, for example, I think is 2.2, okay? And um, my, my reverse T3 is 16. Uh, I think those are the numbers. So if you do the if you do the math, I'm going to get a ratio of 0.14. So anything under 0.2 means you have a, a too high reverse T3 and you have a reverse T3 issue that needs to be dealt with. Okay, what to do? There are ways that you can flush the T or the T reverse T3 out of your system, and that is by taking um, T3 prescribed by your doctor. So you have to work with your doctor through all of this. I am not a doctor. I only know my own situation and what I'm learning from the things that I'm reading and listening to. So um, so lyothyronine and um, Cytomel is the, the names of the medications of T3. You have to work with your doctor to get these. They're prescription only. Um, but taking a T3, because remember, if your, prob if your problem is conversion of T4 to T3, because too much of it's going to reverse T3, if you take T3, then you're kind of skipping that problem while you work on the underlying reasons, okay? Uh, there are also just some herbal things you can do to help boost that T4 to T3 conversion. Um, zinc, selenium, iodine, vitamin A. If you're dealing with any leptin or insulin resistance, you gotta go to the root cause of those and figure out how to reverse those if you really want to fix your reverse T3 problem. As well as treat any inflammation, whether it's from um, food sensitivities, gut issues, you need to go to the root of those problems and fix those if you want um, any of these, if you want any of these issues fixed. But you guys, it really, a lot of it comes down to these four things. And if you're not doing these four things, nothing is going to help. One, get seven to eight hours of sleep a night. And I know it's hard. I've just completely rearranged my schedule so that I can get seven to eight hours of sleep a night. It has to be a priority. A whole food diet. Don't do like fitting whatever you can into your macros. Just don't, don't do lots of processed foods, keep it to whole clean foods if you really wanna to get to the root of these issues. Reduce your stress, go to yoga, meditate, be mindful, whatever you need to do to remove the stress from your life, you have to reduce your stress if you're a very high stress person. And the last one is keeping up with low intensity exercise daily, whether that's walking, yoga, easy weight lifting, um, combined with high intensity exercise when you feel like you can handle it. If you have this crushing fatigue, you may not feel up to high intensity every single day. Don't force yourself to do it. Listen to your body. Just focus on moving and only doing high intensity exercise when you feel like you can. So I am learning so much about this, you guys, and I hope to be able to share what I'm learning with you guys so we can learn together. And there are so many YouTube videos out there that do not have good solid information. So I am trying to bring you good solid research ba based information. Um, for any more information on these things I talked about, go to search up Dr. Weston Childs and his website and podcast is like a wealth of information. So I hope to do more of these videos for you guys. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Ask any questions you want in the comments. I'm not promising I'll have the answers for you, but I will help however I can. See you guys next time.